Hello and welcome to the U.S. Army Women's Museum. My name is Jimmy and I'm a museum educator here at the museum and I'm going to give you a quick sneak peek at our brand new galleries that just opened up this past November, uh, November 2nd, 2018. We're very excited about the new galleries that we have here and I'm going to give you a quick preview of what you can see. So if you'll follow me, what we have here is we actually have five life cast figures. These are very lifelike figures and there's 15 of these located throughout the entire museum. And we have one that represents each of the five galleries and the different stories that we tell here at the Army Women's Museum. So the first uh, person that you see here is a Revolutionary War era camp follower and she represents our first gallery which is called the Origins of Service. This gallery is a very important gallery, it lays the framework for the rest of the museum and it looks at how women served in traditional and non-traditional roles uh, from the Revolutionary War through the Civil War and World War I. Uh, and a really important highlight of this uh, gallery is the establishment of the Army Nurse Corps in 1901. Moving along, what you can see here is a World War II era WAC, or from a member of the Women's Army Corps from World War II. And she represents the World War II gallery that tells uh, the story of how women impacted the, the American Army and served in all different theaters throughout uh, the world during World War II, a very important time of transformation in American history when it comes to gender. The next uh, life cast figure that we have here uh, is a Vietnam era WAC, a member of the Women's Army Corps, and she represents our third gallery, which is called a Permanent Presence. The Women's Army Corps was a permanent part of the U.S. Army from 1948 through 1978, and that important story is told um, in this gallery. This gallery goes all the way through the disestablishment of the Women's Army Corps and leads the way to the full integration of women into the Army, which is the story of our fourth gallery, which you can see over here. Uh, the Be All You Can Be Army. You may remember those commercials from the 1980s. Uh, this gallery covers the 1980s and 90s and the important deployments that were happening around the world where Army women were being integrated into the Army and deployed uh, for the first time in American history. So you can see over here we have uh, more life cast figures that talk about uh, the story of mixed gender basic training. And we also have After Desert Shield and Desert Storm uh, combat aviation, the combat arms opening up to women for the first time, represented by this helicopter here. Uh, the, the, the terrorist attacks of September 11th, 2001 are the bridge that leads us to our final gallery, which is over here, the 21st Century Army. And this gallery tells the story uh, from 9-11 all the way up through the modern day, and it covers uh, a variety of different topics to include female engagement teams and cultural support teams that served uh, in Iraq and Afghanistan. They kind of laid the framework for women being allowed into the combat arms in 2016. A lot of interesting artifacts and stories are told in this uh, particular gallery as they are told throughout the rest of the museum. Uh, we have the coat of four-star general Ann Dunwoody, the very first four-star female general in American history at the tail end of the, uh, the gallery. And as you see over here by the helicopter, we also tell the story of army spouses and army civilians. So it's not just the soldier story, you also get an idea of what it's like for these spouses and civilians who have served side by side with our soldiers throughout history. Uh, so that's just a sneak peek of some of the stuff that you can see when you come to the Army Women's Museum. We hope to see you here soon. Thank you.